you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the top 10 most overpowered players in all of Ultimate Team that you need right now. Now, guys, I have some comments to make on some people refuting some things I said yesterday. First things first, for the things that I did mess up on, I apologize. I had school yesterday. I was in a rush. I did not have time to watch the Madden um, Good Morning stream, so I did miss some key points, guys. So, yes, House Rules is not every single week anymore. Um, a few things. Team of the Week bosses do get tier 3 abilities. So, apologize on that. But now, people saying that Lamar Jackson is not better than Vic, that I will refute. But I'll get to that as we go down this list. Now, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Give me a big thumbs up, boys. Get this video to 250 likes. Uh, every loyal supporter right now, I know there's like at least at least a thousand of you guys. Why don't we get a thousand likes? Come on, everyone just go spam the like button. Let's see how far we can get today. Also, comment down below anything you have against this list. I love hearing feedback to help me better the list for the next time. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below and hit the subscribe button. Boys, we're so close to AK. We're like 150 away. Run up the sub button, boys. Let's hit AK. Let's keep grinding. Let's keep pushing. And if you haven't already, turn on the noti bell. Get notified every time I post a brand new video, boys. Now let's get into this. So first thing on the list. I'm running through the auction block like I always do. So on the list, we got at number 10, a guy on my team that I have not. And that is not why I have him. Disregard the Lamar thing there. I'm trying to buy him and I'm waiting for my things to sell. And they have not sold yet. But on this list, guys, a guy that I love a lot. He makes... It's not defensive tackle, guys. It's not defensive tackle. A guy that I love a lot. He's at cornerback. You guys all know him if you guys have been watching long enough to know who I love in this in this game right now. One of the most overpowered cornerbacks in the game. That is Stephon Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore and Willie Brown. Obviously two beasts, but Stephon Gilmore coming in at number 10. This guy right here. There's a reason. I've been telling you guys about the cost factor on a, on a superstar card. 318k for a 90 overall cornerback. Okay. So maybe maybe a little bit overpriced in your eyes, but right. But he has 92 man, 88 press, 89 player. That's all I need to know about. That's all you need to know about him. He has the man threshold, the press threshold with chems, and the play rec threshold. So you know what this guy does in man coverage? I put this guy in man coverage, and he has clamps. Oh, and it gets even better. He comes pre-stocked with abilities like tip drill, man up, and pick artist, and shutdown. So he can tip the ball, catch tip pa um, passes for picks. He's a beast at manning up. He's got pick artist, and he has shutdown uh, X Factor, which he gets pretty easily, like at least once a game. This guy with 85 speed, 88 excel, 88 agility, man. This card is a beast. If it wasn't for another guy on this list, he would be way higher than he is. Our next on this list is a limited time card, which is why he's so low. Sammy Watkins. If he wasn't limited time, he'd be a lot higher. He's got 89 speed, 85 jumping, 89 catching, 86 catching traffic, 89 spec, 88 medium route, 86 short route, and 86 deep route running. Now, if you compare him to Tyree Kill, which is what I like to compare him to, he blows him away with the same speed. If you combined Tyree Kill with one of the best receivers in the game, that is what you would get. And if you chem this guy up, he hits the threshold for medium route running, potentially deep route running, and he gets pretty close on catching, and he gets tier 3 abilities. There's nothing more to say about this card. This card is insane. Too bad he has limited time, and he's probably unaffordable for most people, which is why he's not higher up on this list, because if he was affordable, he'd be probably in the top three. Now, at wide receiver, we got Odell Beckham Jr. Of course, I was undercut. That is mine right there. I gotta go put that up afterwards. Odell Beckham Jr., one of the best receivers in the league. He's at 87 speed, 89 jumping, 87 catching, 82 catching traffic, 89 spec catch, 86 short route running, 85 medium route running, and 84 deep route running. Now, this guy, he's like a baby Sammy. He can make all the catches you need. He's a little bit smaller. He's fast. He can jump, and he comes pre-built with abilities. Like I always say, abilities are so important on these superstar cards because if you bought Odell for 200K base at that overall, which probably would be, all those abilities plus powering up would be another 250k, so you save that all on him. He's very well worth it. The abilities alone would cost more than his card. Rack him up, streak specialist, double move elite, and cross specialist. Now, next on this list, we're going back to the cornerbacks. I hope you guys already know, considering what I said before, I kind of gave it away. Mr. Willie Brown. Willie Brown, I just actually, I'm actually selling him right now because I do want to pick up a certain other guy. That is mine right there. This Willie Brown right here, he's got... 87 speed, 85 excel, 85 agility, 85 jumping, 88 play rec, 90 man, 89 zone, 88 press. You can this guy up a lockdown. He has press threshold, zone threshold, man threshold, play rec threshold, 87 speed, 6 foot 1. He is the best cornerback in the game, hands down. My only concern with him is that he might not get an upgrade for quite a while. 
and uh, he doesn't come with abilities, obviously, so it would be much more expensive to come up all the way. But other than that, he is a beast. Next on the list is another guy I'm actually selling right now. I'm only selling these guys for now because they are kind of expensive, and I think they'll go down for Legend Saturday. But that is Alan Page. Now, Alan Page, guys, you didn't know anything about Alan Page. 88 finesse move, let's start from the bottom. 82 power move, 85 block shot, 87 play rank, 85 tackle, 85 strength, 83 excel, 78 speed. Now, the top end stats might seem a little low, but 78 speed and defensive tackle is godlike right now because you have to, you have to think about it. Defensive tackles typically block shed well, right? He gets off the blocks pretty easily. They're up the middle. Typically, if a defensive tackle breaks on the middle, the quarterback outruns him because he's too, he's, they're too slow. But him, he can chase on, on a pitch, right? When defensive tackles uh, release off their block on a pitch, other defensive tackles will never make it around the edge. Alan Page could actually cut off the run, force a cutback, force a guy to bounce it out, a lot of things. Also, if a running back does inside zone right up the middle, if Alan Page releases from his block, typically the, the running back has to cut off the linebacker, Alan Page can make that tackle. Michael Pierce is too slow, he'll never even get behind the running back. A lot of reasons why I like him. He's really athletic for a defensive tackle. Next on this list is a guy that's going to be unaffordable for quite some time, but Brian Dawkins, guys. And you don't need to get this one. I'm very content with that one right there. So remember, these legends have alternate players you can have. So he has an 87 speed, 85 excel, 84 tra uh, tracking, 84 tackle, 89 play rec, 88 pursuit, 88 zone, 89 zone, 91 hit power, 75 man. So his man's, his man's ass, but it doesn't matter because he's 87 speed, so he's the fastest free safety in the game. He can get the play rec threshold, the pursuit threshold, potentially the zone and the hit power. So he's, before we had Earl Thomas's, right? Now we got a guy who can have the zone threshold, the pursuit threshold, the play rec threshold. He's way faster. He's taller, and you can hit like a truck. And now, if you don't, if you can't afford him, get this power for like 110k. You get one less speed, one less excel, four less tackling, one less play rec, one less pursuit, three less man, four less zone, two less, uh, three less hit power. The only issue with this card I see is that he has the 85 zone because now you cannot you cannot get him to threshold because even if you kept him up, he won't reach it. So. That's like the only thing that he won't be locked down in zone like this other one will be. But for a million coins, I'll gladly take the power for the time being. Now next on this list is a quarterback that once was unaffordable, still unaffordable, but slightly less more for slightly more affordable, slightly. And that's Michael Vick. Michael Vick. Ooh, I don't know if my voice is cracked there. Disregard that. Uh, Michael Vick, 92 overall. He's got insane stats. But guys, he's no longer number one on the list. He's not even in the top three because of another card that just came out. This Michael Vick for 1.8 million coins is very, very overpriced. And in my opinion, he's going to come down. And remember, you get a free card in 10 weeks. And at this point, it's going to be like six weeks. So this other Michael Vick right here, this power up has one less speed, one less throw power, one, three less short, three less mid, four less deep, one less throw under pressure, two less throw on the run, and four less black. So if you chem this card up right, chem him up properly, he will have the same throw power for the time being. He'll, he'll, they're all, and think about thresholds, right? The full Vic and the power Vic doesn't hit the short, medium, deep, or throw under pressure threshold anyways. So their throwing is almost identical. The only difference with these cards, in my opinion, is going to be Escape Artist. That's about it. So I'm not paying 1.8 million coins for Escape Artist. I'm just not doing it. I don't care. Everyone's like, oh, Vic, uh, Vic's the best one. 1.8 million coins for Escape Artist is a ton. I don't know if I could validate that. But you guys can argue that in the comments as you will, and I know you guys all will. You guys will see who I think is better soon. So now we're coming to middle linebacker, guys. Patrick Willis. I don't got to say much about him. Again, I don't recommend this one. I don't. Too expensive. I recommend this power-up one. This power-up one has one less speed, one less excel, one less strength, three less tackle, two less play rec, two less block shed, five less hit power, and one less zone. Again, minus the hit power, he is identically almost the same card. So for six, a six foot one linebacker at 85 speed, 85 excel with good hit power, with good block shot, with good play rec, good tackle, good strength, all for the small cost, like 100K. If you don't have Shazier, he's probably the best linebacker in the game stock. And that, in my opinion, that's pretty good, especially at linebacker, since I don't typically put abilities on my linebackers. I don't care that he can't get tier three. Now next in this list, another guy, another Mutt 10 guy. These Mutt 10 guys, they're killing it with these Mutt 10 drops so far. I really like them. We got Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, again, I don't know if I'd recommend this one. I'd recommend his power up. Pretty much the theme with all Mutt 10 power up cards is that they're going to be slightly worse. In my, in my opinion, the only thing that's going to be worse is the speed by one, the excel by like one. The only thing that's going to really change probably is his trucking and his break tackling. So in my opinion, Bo Jackson, I can't really show you guys the stats. I don't have them. But the power of Bo Jackson is still a beast. And this Bo Jackson is still the best running back in the game. But on the other, on the contrary, I wouldn't recommend picking up any running backs right now because in the end, I still believe 
that there's going to be new running backs like Saquon, Zeke, Gurley, so on and so forth throughout the year. So I think that those would be much more worth it. Now, number one on this list, the new king in Madden for me. I don't care what anyone says. Debate a wall. Lamar Jackson. Let's compare it right here. Let's compare. Compared to the Vic that I currently use, he's faster. The throw power is whatever. Honestly, it's, it's, it's a little bit worse, but with the proper cams, I, I can get it right there or at least close to it. He's got short accuracy better, medium accuracy better, thief accuracy the same. Throw under pressure 90. That's huge. He has the threshold for throw under pressure. A guy that's going to be running and getting a lot of contact, that's huge. Throw under pressure is a big stat this year because this year, if a guy even gets past the line of scrimmage, just slightly past it, your quarterback might throw an error and throw out of bounds. Throw on the runs only one less and play action's way better. Although, who cares about play action passes? But he's taller, he's faster, and he can get escape artist, guys. For 360K, you have an escape artist QB. Steve Young, people were buying for 500, 600K to get escape artist with the 81 speed. This Lamar Jackson has a 90 speed with escape artist. It's gonna be unreal. I don't know how anyone even told me that this Lamar Jackson isn't as good as Vic. Price wise, and someone got someone in my comments yesterday. Thank you for being Albert Einstein, a genius. They said, I'm pretty sure when Poodle talks about overrated and underrated in comparisons, he factors in price. I do. Lamar Jackson is better than Michael Vick right now. And you could say, oh, well, Michael Vick has um, slightly better throwing. Yeah, but Michael Vick's almost 2 million coins. And you're going to lose a lot of coins just on reduction. Lamar Jackson, you buy for 300K, you use him for a few weeks, you sell him back, you lose 30K. Michael Vick, you use for a few weeks, he goes down 500K, then you lose the reduction of another 150K, you lose almost 700K, and he was just about the same. For the price wise, thank you to the genius commenter that said exactly what he said. And now to make it even better, look at these underlying stats. Look at them. 88 elusiveness blows away Vic. 95 ball carry vision blows away Vic. Better stiff arm by a little bit. Better spin move. And he has the juke threshold at a 90. This card's insane. There's no other thing. 87 salmon. This card's insane. I love this card. He's going to be my new quarterback. To and break sacks in 94. Break tackles in 84. You can't make this stuff up. This card's insane. It's just, he's insane. He's insane. That's all I got to say. You guys are sleeping on this Lamar Jackson if you don't have him already. For 368K, there's no risk. Worst case scenario, being one of the best quarterbacks, he goes down to what? Like 280K worst case scenario? Worst? I lose like what? 60, 70K and I get a quarterback for weekend league for a few weeks. I'm happy with that, guys. That is it for the video. If you liked my takes and you didn't, or you didn't like my takes, comment down below. Give me some feedback. Comment down below if you liked them too. Like the video. Let's get this video to a thousand likes. Let's kill the like button. Every lowest supporter. Let's see how many likes we can get in this video. And if you haven't already, go hit the subscribe button. You won't regret it. Quality content daily. I'll be here all year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.